Hello there. Do you have your ticket? Oh, you don't have one? No problem. I can help you. Just hit the subscribe button below and then come on in. Greetings, everyone. DFG here. Hey, guys. Um, I just wanted to take a moment and, you know, try to do something that... Oh, excuse my horse voice. I'm trying to get over the uh, flu, but... Yeah, I'm feeling just a little bit better, so I figured, you know what, um, let me share what was on my mind um, before too many days pass by. Um, but back to the subject uh, at hand uh, this afternoon. You know, one of the things that I hope that we can all remember to do, or some of us, those of us who are, are conscientious, you know, about those that we have lost, and, and I'm not talking necessarily now lost loved ones, but just lost in general that someone would, would, would be kind enough to remember us uh, in cases of tragedy. And, um, you know, when you love and you love mankind, and, and this is not some um, uh, emasculated, uh, some, you know, bleeding heart message here, because if you know me, <laughs> you know, uh, emasculation is something that I detest, and bleeding hearts, you know, it's for the it's for the lesser amongst us. Okay, you know, we don't need any more bleeding hearts. What we really need is courageous hearts and those who are willing to stand up for those for those who are less fortunate than us, and and be a voice for them. You know, and be a platform to never let them die, even if they have uh, been unfortunately, and in in what I'm going to speak uh, about, uh, have been killed. So I want to pay tribute. To, to, to this family here and and mainly when I say this family I'm talking about the kids and some of you guys you know my my, my heart for children especially children who have been victimized uh, and taken advantage of by 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 vicious adult predators uh, whether they be pedophiles or rapists you know of you know that 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 prey on you know the innocent that prey on those who can't uh, defend themselves. So in in memory of, of this 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 group here. You see here? Let's see here. Bear with me. But this group here, let's see if I can get this up here. See this picture here? Let's see. Let's come over a little bit here. Let's see if I can straighten it out. There you go. All right. See those siblings, those kids there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the little boy would be looking in the camera would probably be the second to your right, I think, with the hat sideways, sideways. That's Devontae Hall, okay? Him, see him? Uh, this this is him, too. Look at him. I'm going to get you good look at him. Look at that face. You see that? All right, that's him, okay? And you look at that's Devontae Hart. And again, that's him again. Okay, with the blue thing around his neck. You see those two lesbians standing in the backdrop back there? Those two lesbians, and see, they took and they killed one, two, three, four, five, six children, ran off a cliff in their van, and murdered these foster kids a couple of months back. And they murdered them because these children, oh, by the way, what do they say here? How does that they murdered these kids. I'll keep talking as I get this picture back. This is important. I know you I know you you understand my clumsiness here. Love is always beautiful. Huh. Love is always beautiful. Does that look like someone who's experience, experiencing love that is always beautiful? That looks like a kid who is not only tormented, but that's being tortured. And the truth of the matter, he was being tormented. He was being tortured. He was begging for food, sneaking out at night, saying that those two white lesbians were not feeding him. They were abusing his siblings, siblings, his foster siblings, siblings, goodness, that they were abusing them. And not only were they abusing them, but they had reported this to the neighbors. And no one took time to go and investigate it. They just left these children to these predators who, for whatever reason, took these kids, adopted these kids to ultimately murder these kids. And of course the press didn't the press covered it real fast. And then they tried to make up excuses like somehow another brakes failed and the, the car just miraculously just turned off the road, drove 
I don't know, 500 feet and kept on going, picking up speed as it went, and off the cliff they go. And now, all forgotten about. Six innocent kids, lives were destroyed, murdered, killed. For what reason? I don't know what the reason was. You know, we may never know what the reason was. But there are things we should look at in regards to that. We should try to understand how did these kids in, end up with these two people as their foster parents. We should try to understand why would society not be questioning why two lesbian white females would want to adopt six non-white children here in America. We should be wanting to understand and investigate why when CPR or the Child Protective Service, CPS, was contacted about the behavior of these women with these six kids, whether it was in Texas or whether it was in California, nobody took the, the right steps to take and remove these kids from that hostile environment. We should question why this kid would be in the arms of a police officer looking terrified, but yet the media played it off as though this kid was just so happy that a police officer or police officers were there to protect and serve, you know, children or people of color. We should be questioning why these kids were standing there with, a, with these two, you know, parents, two white lesbian parents, and I don't know why I'm doing that because that's what they were, you know, were saying love is beautiful. If love was that beautiful, you mean to tell me that these kids, that these two people in the back, the one kissing the other one, that had that forced these kids to hold up a sign when they knew they were tormenting these kids, torturing these kids, when they knew that they had in their hearts, if, if things didn't go the way they wanted it, these two lesbian females wanted it, if they knew that if things didn't go the way they wanted things to go and they didn't get the publicity that they wanted to get for saying that we adopt and we rescued these poor little children, that they would murder those kids. They knew it. They knew it. They, they knew it. And yet, you follow me? No one else seemed to care. So why am I doing this video? It's to remind us that we need to always be conscious and looking out for what's going on around us. We need to be looking at these children as we see them coming and going. Someone needs to be following up with CPS. What is CPS doing with the children once they take these children? You know, we got all these watch groups. We're, you know, we got neighborhood watch groups and we've got, you know, we got the environmental watch groups. We got even got animal watch groups. Well, who's watching for these children? I'm talking about the children that are taken from supposedly unsafe homes and put in the custody of, of child protection services, and then nobody, then they disappear off the face of the earth. Who's watching them? Who's holding them accountable? Who's going behind them and saying, look, you know, we, you guys took X amount of kids last month. Uh, we want an update on where these kids are. And not only that, but we want to uh, we want to be able to go and send out someone to check on these kids and interview these kids. See how these kids are doing. See if these kids are genuinely happy. See just how beautiful love is. Right? Because that's what they said. They said, again, I'm getting to the end of this, but I, I just want you to see. Look at this. Look at it. Look at his face. Look at it. Come on. I want you to take a good look at that face. Because he's about to die. He probably knows it too. He's about to die. He's going to be murdered. See him? Right. And you know how the, all the media had to say about it? Was, look how wonderful it is and how well they think of the police. See them? His siblings? See that? Life is always, love is always beautiful. Look at him. See those little colored angels, all of them, all six of them? They're about to die. And you see those two white devils in the back? Lesbian devils in the back? See them back there? They're, they're going to be the ones to murder them. How sad. How sad. And I know some of you might get upset that I called them white devils. Well, they are white devils. They got black devils too. Or so-called black, copper-colored devils. But those two white devil lesbians murdered those children. And so I just say, and I'm saying it to you, I'm saying it to all of us, you know, let's not forget about these children out here. 
Let's not think just because kids got rescued from one horrible situation that they cannot end up in even a worse situation. Because that is what tends to happen. You know, we'll say, well, you know, they got them out of that bad home. Now they're in foster care, so they should be all right. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm going to close with this. I remember my mom. You know, uh, we were struggling as kids. And I know you don't need to hear another sad story, but you're going to hear this one. If you listen to the channel, you're going to hear this story. I remember my mom, you know, uh, being confronted by, by two nuns, Catholic nuns. And they told my mother, you need to put your children in foster care. You know, that you're not doing a good job taking care of them. You, you know, they, they, they're, they're dirty. You know, they don't have much. You know, put them in foster care. Let, let, the, let the Catholic Church take them. And I remember my mom, you know, telling those two nuns, go to hell. Nobody is taking my children anywhere. And I think I was about, maybe about 10 years old, 11 years old at the time. And, I, and I've always, you know, I always thought my mom was a hero, you know, to me. Just, you know, most kids, your mom, dad, hero to you. But that one time, probably more than any other time, and there were many times that I could count where, you know, my mother, in my opinion, did great things. But that was the greatest decision and the greatest act of kindness and love that I ever witnessed from my mother was when she told those two nuns, go to hell, you're not taking my children anywhere. And that was in the 70s. So Yahweh knows what probably would have happened to us had she released six boys and a girl into the hand of the, of the wickedness that we've seen already perpetuated in the Catholic Church. Now these women, I don't know what, if there were any religion, I guess they were from the religion of hell. And I, you know, so I'm not putting them on the Catholic Church. But we know the Catholic Church and the pedophiles and nuns that are rape girls and and, the, and obviously the priest that's raping the nuns and the priest that's raping the boys. Oh my goodness, just stop. Just stop, right? I get it. I get it. You've heard enough of it. But I just want you to remember, again, and I just want us not to forget. There's a saying, those that forget their past are doomed to repeat it. Well, you know what? Because of us and people like us, you guys who care, you know what I'm saying? You ought to share this video just for no other reason, just so that somewhere in the spirit world, these six children know that we never forgot them and we never will forget them. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye now.